So after the first buzz board had the motors burn out and stop working, I decided that I needed to have a way of knowing if the motors were good or not. And I've had uh, several questions. Uh, they're, they're phrased differently, um, but, but they come in as, what does it feel like? What should it feel like? How do I know what's enough and what's too hard? And, and honestly, I don't know what is enough and what is too hard. I can tell you from our experience what works. So from that, I have uh, come up with this, and this is a uh, vibration sensor. Comes from Amazon in a five pack. And these are for connection to an Arduino. When you get it, you get this little board and this little vibration sensor. So the vibration sensor on here, you have a ground, which is the black coming off of the sensor, the disc, and then you have input, which is the red. And on this, we have S for signal, a plus and a minus. So you need to run a wire from the minus to the ground on your Arduino, from the plus to either the three or the five volt, doesn't matter, it'll take either, and the signal goes to the A0 port. A stands for analog. What we've done so far has been digital. This is an analog port. So, let me move around here. This is the connection. Uh, that's a Arduino Nano knockoff. Uh, the Arduino files will recognize, yes, the headers are on the top, not the bottom. Uh, there's a reason for that, but that's a different video. So, what I do with this is I have it running. It has to be connected to the computer while it runs. So, I'll move this around. See, I'm actually actively connected to the laptop. I will have a screen grab here so you can see what it's doing. Okay, so I have the uh, laptop with the Arduino connected to it, so it's not like the buzz board where it's just connected to a power supply. It's actually connected to the computer so I can get readings off of it. I'm gonna turn on the, the buzz board. We'll hear it start doing its thing, and I am gonna hold this disc against the fingers. Now, there's an issue with this in that the, I have a sample period of, I believe, 50 milliseconds on the sensor sketch, which I'll put on the GitHub. And of course, you know, the period's 100 milliseconds, so you're not hitting evenly all the time, but that's okay. It also doesn't display anything that is under 75. So if you're not getting readings, you can go into the sketch, I'll show in a moment, and turn that to zero so you can get lots of readings. Um, so this on the screenshot shows you the kind of readings that I expect to get from a good finger, that, that it's enough vibration to have effect. Um, it, I can say that it's not too much because she's not terribly irritated by it. Um, and I can say it's enough in that we are having good efficacy. So your mileage may vary, but for my partner, this amount uh, works well. Now I moved this from finger to finger. My original concept in building this was when I burnt the motors out of the first one, because I overvolted them, uh, I would have something that I could go in periodically and check to see if motors were falling behind. And I did at the beginning. Uh, she, she's evolved to the stage that, I think it was this, number three on the right hand. Um, a couple days ago, she said, number three on the right hand is not strong enough. Um, but, but that's an evolution. So that is the vibration sensor. Uh, I'll put the sketch up, I'll put the screen grab up, and um, I hope that this continues to have good effect and you can uh, have some benefit for your PD partners we have for mine. Uh, one last look, uh, a little five pack of these guys. 
you will need the, the jumper wires that go between here and your Arduino. Um, if you purchased any kind of an Arduino starter pack or something, those will work just fine. And then this sensor is that disc that's wired in. Have a blessed day.